Here we are trying to understand why Newton's second law is considered as the real law or the main law. That's because Newton's first law and third law both are contained in the second law and hence the second law is considered as the real law. So let's begin with the, the first part of this video. We'll first try to understand how we can derive Newton's first law from the second law. So Newton's first second law says force is mass into acceleration and let us say force acting on an object is zero. There is no external force acting on an object. If that be the case, if force acting is equal to zero, that means ma is equal to zero. Now mass of an object cannot be zero, therefore a will be zero. That means the acceleration of the body is zero. I can take the magnitude of a as zero and that would mean that delta v or change in velocity is zero. That means the body continues to move with the same velocity and that is what Newton's first law says that when there is no external force acting on a body, the body continues to move with the same velocity. There is no change in velocity and since vector a is equal to 0, that means also there is no change in direction. So delta v equal to 0, there is no change in velocity and that is why we say that Newton's second law contains Newton's first law. With regard to third law, we will have to take into consideration two bodies because Newton's third law talks about the force of interaction between two bodies. So let's say we have two objects 1 and 2. Let's say we have two objects 1 and 2 which are interacting with each other. Now according to Newton's first law, second law, when these two bodies come into each act onto each other, the force applied by body 1 onto 2, that means the force acting on body 2 will be given by dp2 by dt, the rate of change of momentum of body 2 and similarly f21 that is the force applied on the body 2 will be given by dt1 by dt. So these two forces are the internal forces acting on these two. Therefore, now if you look at second law of motion, second law of motion says force is equal to mass into acceleration, force is equal to dp by dt. Since on this entire system there is no external force acting on this, this f is equal to 0, this f is 0, therefore dp by dt which is the total change in momentum of this system of two bodies equal to 0 and that would be mean dp1 by dt plus dp2 by dt is equal to 0. Therefore, dp1 by dt is we know f12 plus dp2 by 2 is f21 equal to 0 and therefore I can write down f12 is equal to minus f21 which is the statement of uh, or the mathematical representat representation of Newton's third law of motion that when two bodies interact with each other, when they collide with each other, they apply equal and opposite forces. So these two forces are equal and opposite as the minus sign indicates they are in opposite direction. This is how we can show that Newton's second law contains third law too and therefore we consider Newton's second law as the real law. Thank you.